Well, we'll give you back here to beautiful fifth third of field as we get ready for the Toledo Mud Ends taking on the Louisville Bats. And we've got a special presentation coming for you right now. So Mud Hen fans, we ask you to please focus your attention to the video board for a very special pre-game ceremony tonight. We would like to welcome President of the Toledo Mud Hens and Toledo Walleye, Joe Napoli, the President of the International League, Randy Mobley, and we are pleased to welcome back to Toledo and Fifth Third Field, our guest of honor, former Toledo Mud Hens skipper, Larry Parrish. He served as the Toledo manager for a record eight seasons, managing in over 1,120 games. He is the franchise all-time winningest manager and he led the Mud Hens franchise to unprecedented heights with back-to-back -back Governor's Cup championships in 2005 and 2006. In 2005, he was named the International League Coach of the Year, as well as the Sporting News Minor League Manager of the Year. He has recently returned to the Detroit organization and is currently the manager of the Class A West Michigan Whitecaps. And tonight, we are thrilled to honor Larry Parrish as a member of the 2013 class inducted into the International League Hall of Fame. And now to present Larry Parrish with the Curtain Call statue to commemorate his induction into the IL Hall of Fame, please welcome President of the International League, Randy Motley. Thanks, Matt. Good to be with you all tonight, and I appreciate uh, the Mud Hens flexibility here this evening as we've dealt with a little bit of weather. Uh, it's great to have an indoor facility like this to be able to continue with our, our pregame ceremony. Uh, some of you folks uh, down in the ballpark or watching at home will remember that in conjunction with the International League's anniversary season in 2008, when we turned 125 years old, we revived the International League Hall of Fame, which had been dormant for many, many years. There's no International League Hall of Fame building, but rather a stadium display that rotates around our ballparks so that fans can take a look and see of the players, managers, coaches, administrators who have gone into the International League Hall of Fame. For those of you who are in the ballpark tonight, you'll find this display down on the main concourse behind home plate, and I hope you'll stop by there and check out the names of those on there, uh, including Jackie Robinson, uh, Tommy Lasorda, Wade Boggs, Cal Ripken Jr., along with tonight's honoree, Larry Parrish. Prior to its revival, the last International League Hall of Fame induction had been held in 1963. Since the Hall of Fame's revival and before tonight, we've held one other induction ceremony here at Fifth Third Field. As part of the 2008 revival class, we welcome to the International League Hall of Fame Frank Gilhooley Sr. and Gene Cook. Frank played 13 seasons in the league with six different teams, recorded a lifetime batting average of 324, and also managed in the league for two seasons. Gene Cook worked for the Mud Hens for 25 years and served as the team's general manager for 20 of those years. A nine-time varsity letter winner at the University of Toledo, Gene was elected to Toledo City Council 15 times and was truly a leader within the International League and within the greater Toledo community. This evening we're here to once again recognize an outstanding performer and contributor to the International League's glorious past. Guidelines for the International League Hall of Fame call for the individuals to be elected for their accomplishments while in the league and not for what they accomplished either before or after they spent their time in the International League. However, give a listen to what Larry Parrish had on his resume before he first set foot in the International League. Larry attended Seminole Community College in Sanford, Florida, signed his first professional baseball contract with the Montreal Expos organization in 1972, and two years later he made his major league debut at the age of 21. He finished third in the National League Rookie of the Year voting in 1975 and went on to have a 15-year playing career with Montreal, Texas, and Boston, during which time he recorded a 263 lifetime batting average, hit 256 home runs, and drove in 992 runs. A Major League All-Star with Montreal in 1979 and with Texas in 1987, he retired as a player following the 1988 season. 
Since his playing days, Larry's has coached or managed within the Detroit Tigers organization from the rookie leagues to the major leagues. Larry was introduced to the International League in 1994, midway through the season when he assumed the manager's role for the Mud Hens. It would then be nine years later before Larry returned to the International League as a manager of the Hens in 2003 to begin a seven-year run that saw him chalk up 569 victories and become the Mud Hens franchise record holder for wins. His teams never finished lower than fourth place in league standings and included two second place finishes. And any Mud Hens fan will certainly never forget the back-to-back -back championships in 2005 and 2006. The 2005 championship was the franchise's first in nearly 40 years. During that magical 2005 season, Larry was named the International League Manager of the Year as well as the Sporting News Manager of the Year. In 2006, Larry was named manager of the International League's All-Star team that defeated the Pacific Coast League 6 to nothing, right here in 5th Third Field. As you've already heard, Larry's currently manage, managing the Tigers Midwest League team, and we're so grateful for him for being here tonight, giving up one of his off nights, of which are so very, very few in the minor league schedule. Larry? Fans in the International League were treated to witnessing your great teams and your accomplishments during your time here. And tonight, it's my privilege and pleasure on behalf of the directors of the International League to present to you this curtain call statue, which is a player tipping his cap to the fans after being acknowledged for a job well done. And your accomplishments in the International League are certainly Hall of Fame worthy and we're certainly a job well done. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Randy. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You know, this is, this is quite an honor. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I didn't think I would have trouble speaking, but, uh, <laughs> you know, Bull told me to keep it short tonight, but, uh, uh, you know, when you when you win an award like this, you know you're just sort of the uh, the head figure uh, for what went on behind the scenes. Uh, you know, we had a you know great facility here in uh, Toledo, uh, some big league uh, atmosphere around here. The fans have been uh, very supportive of the club, very supportive of me when I was here, and it was uh, it was great to uh, to give them a championship. Uh, but you don't win championships without great players. And obviously we had some great players come through here. Uh, there was a very, uh, made it very easy for me. You know, I win these awards because I had great players. You know, I had the, uh, the Marcus Timms and the Hoopers and the Grandersons. And uh, one of the guys that will be playing against us tonight, uh, Mike Hessman, uh, those kind of guys that were, you know, that just uh, made it a pleasure to show up at the ballpark and uh, and then you know I had a great coaching staff here and, a, and uh, also a great trainer, Matt Rankin got the guys back on the field and kept guys healthy, and uh, I got to work with Jeff Jones and uh, AJ Sager, two pitching coaches uh, during that time. They did a great job, and of course I had the uh, the bull man uh, Leon Durham was the uh, was the hitting coach the whole time I was here. We worked together, and uh, you know the guy became um, more like a brother to me than uh, than a you know than a sidekick, and uh, so it's an honor for those guys too because they're just as much a part of it as I was, and uh, just thank you very much for this honor tonight. Good to see Larry again. I'll tell you, it brings back a lot of memories, those, uh, especially the old five and 06 seasons. He missed those seven when he had ankle surgery, but uh, outside of that, he would have been here eight straight years, plus the 1994 season that Randy mentioned. So, yeah, it's good to see Larry. 
Yeah, I like good. his look too. He's trying to look like you and I. Well, yeah, trying to do that <laughs> uh, certainly. And uh, you know, congratulations to Larry on uh, being inducted into the International League Hall of Fame, and we're happy that we could bring that to you. Uh, we'll be right back here to Fifth Third Field in just a little bit. Stay right there, everyone. The number 15, Parrish, now on that Wall of Fame. 